Recently, Kate Hudson alleged Meghan Markle of leading a new PR stunt and asked the public to boycott it in an interview with Vogue. But let us first find out how Kate Hudson is related to the royal family. Does she have any royal connections or not? Well, Kate Hudson does not have a direct relationship with the British royal family. However, she has had some connections to them through her friendship with Princess Beatrice, the granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth II. Aside from her friendship with Princess Beatrice, Kate Hudson has not been involved in any official royal engagements or events. However, she has expressed admiration for the royal family in the past. In a 2016 interview with Harper's Bazaar, Kate said that she's a big fan of the royals, particularly Princess Diana, and that she loves the traditions and history surrounding the monarchy. Well, you must be thinking that the two being public figures with successful careers in their respective fields might have had some controversies in the past. But let us tell you, while they may have crossed paths or interacted in public events or social media, there hasn't been any notable public dispute or controversy between them before. Therefore, the question arises, what has happened between the two now? Let us dig deeper and know what Meg's new PR stunt is and why Kate is asking people to boycott it. In a recent interview with Vogue, Kate Hudson spoke out against the controversy surrounding Meghan Markle's children's book, The Bench, calling for a boycott of the book. Hudson's comments have generated a lot of buzz and controversy, with some people praising her for taking a stand, while others criticize her for being insensitive and dismissive. The controversy surrounding The Bench centers on allegations of plagiarism. In June 2021, Markle released the book, which she described as a love letter to her husband, Prince Harry and their son Archie. However, shortly after its release, many people noticed striking similarities between The Bench and a children's book called The Boy on the Bench by Kareen Avaris and Gabriel Alborozo. Critics pointed out that both books featured a red-haired father and son sitting on a bench and that several passages in The Bench were nearly identical to those in The Boy on the Bench. Marco denied the allegations of plagiarism, saying that the bench was inspired by her own experiences as a mother and wife. However, the controversy surrounding the bench only intensified when it was revealed that the book was not an original idea, but rather a PR stunt designed to boost Marco's public image. According to reports, Marco's publisher, Penguin Random House, paid her a substantial advance for the book, and Marco herself has been heavily involved in its marketing and promotion. It is this aspect of the bench that seems to have particularly angered Kate Hudson. In the Vogue interview, Hudson referred to the book as a PR stunt and criticized Markle for using her status as a former royal to boost her career. Hudson also called for a boycott of the book, saying that consumers should not support Markle's PR-driven career. Her comments have been widely shared on social media, with many people applauding her for taking a stand against plagiarism and commercialization in the publishing industry. However, others have criticized Hudson for being insensitive to Markle's experiences as a mother and wife. They argue that Markle has every right to write and publish a book based on her own experiences and that it is unfair to dismiss her efforts as a mere PR stunt. Furthermore, some have pointed out that Hudson herself has been involved in commercializing motherhood as the founder of the clothing brand Fabletics, which markets itself to busy moms who want comfortable and stylish activewear. They argue that Hudson's criticism of Marco is hypocritical, given her own involvement in the world of commercialized motherhood. Ultimately, the controversy surrounding the bench is symbolic of larger debates about plagiarism, originality, and the commercialization of art. While some may see Markle's book as a harmless expression of her love for her family, others view it as a calculated attempt to cash in on her fame and influence. Similarly, while some may see Hudson's call for a boycott as a brave stand against plagiarism and commercialization, others view it as insensitive and dismissive of Markle's own experiences and creative efforts. As with many debates in the world of art and literature, there are no easy answers or simple solutions. The best we can do is argue to engage in thoughtful, respectful dialogue about these issues and to support artists and writers who prioritize originality, creativity, and authenticity over commercial gain and self-promotion. Let us know in the comment section whether Kate's allegations against Meghan Markle are valid, or is Kate being hypocritical? Do you think it could be Kate's PR stunt to raise a voice against Meghan's book, or is she just being honest and taking a step against what she finds wrong?